You were born in the year 2130. And you just recently got your DNA test showing that you have abilities. Abilities that showed that you were gifted with artistic talent. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means you're an artist, my yes. friend. And hey, you could draw like Picasso and Leonardo da Vinci. Isn't that crazy? But of course, with the organicness and how you draw your art, there's always something behind the planet that has always been swarming us. Robots. Robots have been on our tail for many, many years now. And now it's time that they take action. The art industry is being run over by robots. And people are kind of sad about that because we don't get the same organic feel that we get when normal people draw. They don't feel the feeling of happiness when someone draws a happy sunshine or mountains and clouds. We don't see a lot of feeling in the art that the robots make. So that's why you're here. Or me. Technically, I'm playing the game that I am an artist that lives in this year. And I'm just gonna do the intro. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm your host, Drago, and today's video game is Such Art Creative Space. This is a game I saw on Steam, and it looked pretty good. I wanted to try it out. So I wanted to just check out this game. It's basically just like an art simulator, but also there's like a bit of like... I think it was like FPS kind of like fluidness, like you could find like a gun and start shooting paint with it. Basically, it's like a crazy art game. It's like, it's, I don't know, it's gonna be fun, I hope. Um, I don't exactly know the controls. I know that I could crouch, I could jump, and it could lag. So right now, on the corner, I have a hundred credit, I think. That, that could also mean cents. That looks like a cents logo. But I'm gonna say credit so I don't feel sad, alright? Um, so I think all we have to do is, we have this giant canvas right here, so maybe we could... Oh, that's actually very responsive, like... Perfect circle. And also I'm doing this by mouse, so um, normally I actually draw by mouse. Oh, what's that? I draw by mouse? Or are you just shocked that I can draw? Well, of course I could draw, I'm, I'm a so-called, you know... <laughs> so-called, yeah. Yeah, I'm a gamer. What? I'm not a gamer? Oh, right, I'm an artist. Right, um, that, that's why I'm so good at drawing with the mouse. Bam. So basically, I think you could change the color. We have like a bunch of paint tools right here. Choose a color and a tone to get the paint you want. Uh, I'll click OK. See, everything's run by robots. Everything's like holographic. Like, look at this. This is, this is a weird robot thing. OK, I want to actually do some stuff but i need to figure out how i'm uh what i'm gonna draw and how i want to draw it hold up Ooh, what's this like a is this a paintbrush okay hold on uh is there any paint ah oh, there is oh is that oh it's a mop oh so if i want to get rid of my art okay that doesn't work like in real life but you know we're we're in the year 2130 so i mean uh, things are like, things that we thought are impossible could, uh, be possible now. We have some blue paint here. Okay, so that's like a thick brush. Ooh, and also it moves. Uh, I accident- oh, whoops. <laughs> Alright, let's just- and this guy's being sus, so let's get him out of here. So if I want to get some, like, nice flat surfaces down, I can just do this. Really nice. All right, I know I'm being a bit slow with this. Uh, I'm trying to get used to the art stuff, all right? I don't- I don't want to- rush in and make some masterpieces all right i'm i don't want to be that good at art all right i want to i want to give some breathing room for you guys because you guys will be impressed with some of my art all right i want i want to show you some beautiful art pieces uh i don't exactly know what i want to draw but i'll try i might fail but i'll try oh i can pick it up Ooh, what's that this is it this is the weird gun thing i was uh looking at in the pictures so this is a uh, paint gun, I think. I could just like, um, it says press F to pick a uh, target tube. So, hold on, let's, uh, let's grab this nice green. So I think we did it. E to eject or refill. All right, um, so if I just hold. Oh, wow. So if I wanted to be all crazy with this paint, like I could actually do that. That's cool. There we go, look at that, nice clean wall, and actually it has like water texture on it. When you like mop. That is some really good detail, holy crap. 
for a paint game that I thought was just gonna be more of a sandboxy kind of type thing, um, I'm gonna put that there. Uh, it's pretty cool. Ooh, we have some more canvases too. Ooh. Oh, is this how I get like canvases? Do I just click it? Voila. This. Ooh, this is like a thinner thin brush. Hold on. So let's do some tests with some brushes. All right, I'm gonna take. Uh... All right, you know, I <laughs> I just got back. The the game crashed out of nowhere, so that was weird. All right, please don't crash. All right, cool. It didn't crash this time. So yeah, we got a spread tool. I'm gonna pick up. Uh... I want to test out these brushes, actually. I want to test them out side by side. So this might be like more of a refined tool, like really good detail refined tool. So hold on. Oh yeah, this is like a well more refined tool. So let's blend something. I want to blend and make a cool like maybe a cloudy background with like clouds and stuff. So let's grab these paints right here. I think this is white. So big brush right here. Oh, all right. OK, so let's do this. So with the blue sky. I want to do some blend stuff, so... Oh, okay, so clicking F rotates the brush. That's cool. So let's do some stuff like this. Uh, and then I'm gonna take this medium brush, grab some white. So with this, hopefully I'm gonna be able to just make the blends. All right, so with this big brush, can I actually blend it? Oh, whoop. Ooh, somewhat. It looks like it will blend, but I don't think I can blend stuff. Ooh, wait, maybe. It's very scratchy looking, though. Like, it's not really blending, which is the problem. What's with the perfume bottle? Oh, wait, no. This is a blending tool. I thought it was a perfume bottle. That's cool. So you could actually like blend skies and stuff. Look at that. I just made like a really cool cloud background. Okay. Could I add a sun maybe? That's somewhat of a sun. Nice. Look at that. So I just made a quick like cloud background and it doesn't look too bad. I'm actually shocked that that looks really well. Now I need to probably find where I could probably put a trash can. I don't know exactly where, but uh, I'm just going to put this right uh, over here, I guess, because I have nowhere else but it. Uh, nope, yeah, right there. Beautiful. Right next to this really big space area. Like, look at it. It's actually living. Like, it's a livable, like, place because robots have taken over the Earth with their art. How, how dare they, you know? How dare they take away the Earth? Oh, where did my canvas go? Oh, right, game crashed, right. Let's uh, bring that back. Let's go with the space theme of the of this game. Let's actually make some like outer space looking stuff. Let me grab my uh, mop and wipe away that, and let's uh let's do that. Let's uh, do some space. Okay, I want to mess around with these hue things. I want to get like a really nice dark purple. So if I grab this easel, put it right here. Does that dispense? It does. I could probably wipe this off and grab that. Put it right here no oh what it actually no it used half of my paint because it fell oh that's annoying all right cool all right let's wash off these brushes and let's do some blending uh oh uh accidentally poured paint into it okay so there's these rooms right here is there is there a way i could get water Ooh, this looks like a Trash compactor. All right, let's toss this way. Ah, so if I toss myself in there, I might die. All right, I'm gonna have it at, like head level so I don't accidentally just go, oh, okay, oh, <laughs> almost just walked into it. All right, crouching could also kill me. So best not to, best not to do that. All right, let's, uh, let's go, <laughs> I guess, use the other bucket.
All right, I think that's going to do it for that drawing. It looks so good. I'm, it actually looks really nice. All right, let's put this right out here into, I guess, space. Like, there we go. It's right there. Wait, is that? Uh, come on. No. What? I'm balancing on it. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. So we got the space one, the cloud one, which actually kind of is cool because it's like the cloud and the sun. You go up into space. I feel like... Maybe we should explore more with this planet, but I, I want to try out a new canvas, actually. I want to... Ooh. I like this one. Hmm. So, I really like the orange and, like, reds I used in this one. I kind of want to mix some colors with that, like, maybe some browns and stuff. I want to try... You know, I used to draw trees a lot, um, because I just really like the organicness of trees and how you draw them. Maybe I should try drawing a tree. You know what? Let's try drawing a tree. Uh, I'm gonna grab some of this brown, I'm guessing. That's probably brown. I right, got some of this yellow. I'm gonna switch this out with some red. I'm gonna grab this mop. I want to grab, uh, okay, I can't use more of that brown anymore. Actually, you know what? I want to try out this tool. I want to try out this. And I want to, I want to give it a try with going down here. Uh, can I, okay, I can rotate. Okay, cool. Wait, I gotta, yeah, but, I can get in there. Water bucket! Oh my god. I got the old water bucket back. The thing is, when it comes down to painting and stuff, or getting into painting now, of course, me using a, like, I guess, a digital look for painting, obviously, is a bit different than actually doing it by normal. But I have done paintings, uh, like, in real life. Um, and there is, like, the same kind of flow with it. Say if you were making uh, a tree, for example, like a tree is more, um, you would make it like how you think it would look. Like you'd make it like, say how I'm drawing these uh, stumps right here, how I'm drawing it like this. I might wanna go up a bit and do that. Just give it more shape. And then some like loops like this to create more of an organic feel because trees are not the same. Trees are all different. They all have different branches and leaves and just different shapes of like, I don't think I've ever seen like a singular tree that looks like similar. I mean, there are some that have the same like look to it. So creating branches, like I said, you could just be as wild as possible. You can make them small, you can make them like big, like, uh, you can make them big and stuff. You can make, um, you can make them branch out too, I guess, uh, if that makes sense. Right, that is the third drawing, I think. Yeah, the third drawing, and we've only hit like an hour and 14 minutes. So I know for a fact this is going to be a long uh, recording sesh because I want it to be long, all right? I want it to be a long recording sesh, but I want to edit it down like beautifully, all right? Uh, with the Passport Out video I did, I remember doing self portraits of my character, like th this one. Now, he's been updated a lot recently, and I feel like maybe, maybe I should have drawn it like this. Maybe we should go with more of an abstract piece. Let's go crazy. Let's go like, let's like have pieces flying off him or something like that. Let's grab a normal canvas size and let's try it and, and let's see how I would do it. So I think I want the background to be more of a, 
black maybe so let's get to that and also i want to actually i haven't tested out this brush yet so hold on let so if i normally like paint with it yeah that looks pretty abstract i mean it's so weird looking to look at but you know that that that's gonna be part of the charm i guess uh if that makes any sense so let's just dry off this so we don't smear the uh other part of the paint that's the plan i don't want to smear any uh other bits i'm actually getting pretty similar to my character's head i mean it kind of actually looks like me in real life like am i right guys beautiful box looking that okay like i got the basic uh shape um i do need to do like bit of the hair now uh i'll do the dark bit real quick which is mainly just um, i'll just outline it real quick i didn't mean to do that but you know it's abstract so i go with whatever i mean yeah that's pretty abstract i wasn't expecting to get it like that but uh, let's uh all right so honestly it does look like my character, but it looks so ridiculous, but it's abstract, so I mean, I technically pulled it off. Um, uh, can I? I'm just gonna add a little smiley face right there. And then we're just gonna take that and put it up. Perfect! Alright, I'm kind of running out of room. I want to do two more art pieces before I end off today's video, and, uh, I kind of want to do something interesting. Hold on, let me grab my phone. All right, Bob Ross. I want to do a winter theme one. All right, editing Drago, pop it up on screen. This is the one I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be trying out a Bob Ross. Welcome back. Certainly painting. glad you could join us today. It's a fantastic day here. Hold on, hold on, Bob. Right. Bob. So I tell you Bob, what, quiet, right quiet, quiet, real quick. Thank you. So I have this little tripod thing on my phone. So uh, I'm going to be using that. Let's have them run all the colors across the screen. They'll come out right about there. Okay. That you need to paint along with us while they're doing that. I'll show you what I've got done already. Today I have my standard old canvas up. I'm using an 18 by 24 inch, but you use whatever size is convenient. And I've covered the entire canvas with a very thin coat of liquid white. So it's all wet and ready okay. to go. And what we just do, tell you what, let's do a little winter scene today. Something that's cold. Make you have to put your coat on. We'll start out with a little two inch brush. <laughs> And a uh, little bit of Prussian blue. Okay, Prussian I'm just gonna look at what he does. Here. We'll just start right at the top, making little X's, little crisscross strokes. Okay, vibrant blue. Now I don't really, they don't really have names. There we go. Just little X's. Okay. There, a little more of the color. We start at the top of the can. So got it, got it. All right, I'm just gonna take this and work with it. <laughs> it's crisscross strokes. <laughs> he did crisscross strokes like this. What he did was he kind of took... I'm going to use this brush because it's a lot more smaller. I could actually use it. So, and just making our little crisscross strokes and working downward. Bob, I can't really do crisscross strokes. Totally mixing with the liquid white that's on the canvas. And as you work down in and then went down a bit. Then it gets lighter and lighter in value. Automatically. It does. You don't have to Surprisingly, do it Bob, it does. And that's because we don't even care. Oh, Jesus. This man works freaking faster than me. All right. You painted with me before. All right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take that image and try replicating it. Totally did not just add a white line just to make it look similar. What? No. Never. We wash the brush with over the my imaginary brush. We just shake off the excess. Come on. Just... And then. There we go. We did it. <laughs> Cover the whole studio. All right. Maybe. All right, what do you world, do next? Maybe there's a happy little cloud floating around, so let's make a little cloud. Okay, happy little cloud? Take happy a two-inch brush, I'm just going to tap it right into a little bit of the titanium. Well, i got to use this, actually. And notice that we're just tapping the one corner, basically. Like so. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> then we go up here, and let's just tap in just a basic indication. Just tap. It's all there is to it. Something about like that. Where the old mountain lives in your world. Oh god, I don't... I don't have that tool. Shape is I, I guess this is here. similar to it. Mountains grow in all sizes and shapes. It's really up to you. It's really up to you. Okay. If you live in an area where there's a lot of mountain, grab that paint firmly. I can't grab. Pull it. it doesn't have pressure sensitivity. Just pull it. We want to remove excess paint. 
and we want to blend the base of the mountain out so it gets softer and softer down toward the bottom. Something about like that. Send me a picture Dang. You do yours. <laughs> that kind of, that's kind of sad. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that right there. I have like barely any room. All right, let's pause that. All right. What have we learned today, children? We have learned that Drago cannot draw Bob Ross art. We've learned that I, artist Drago, is a cartoonist and will forever be. I cannot draw realistic tones or faces or nothing realistic at all. I am nothing but a figment of imagination as a cartoonist. But we're not done. So I have one more art piece that I want to do before we wrap up today's video. Now I have been drawing for a bit, but obviously there, it's time lapsed mostly. Some of it's mostly time lapsed and most of it's not. Um, I might actually be able to split this into two videos if possible, if that might happen. I don't know. You'll, you'll probably see by the end of the video. I don't know, but I kind of want to explore with this uh, canvas again, the uh, long canvas. So I want to paint something crazy. I want to paint maybe an eyeball. Let's go for an eyeball. I want to try uh, painting some Cool stuff all right what how long has this been here okay hold on hold on let me toss this away i need to figure out what this is what in the what in the heck um i will come back what the Who the frick painted on my wall? This is so disrespectful. Dude, actually, this is my art studio. No one else's. This is mine. Frickin' painting all over my frickin' art studio, thinking that you own the place. No, this is my place. Look, even got almost on my button. Frickin' handprint. Get the frickin' handprint out of here. Oh god, I almost just tossed- I almost tossed my uh, hair dryer in the frickin' water. That would have not been good. Right, that's the last painting. And with the last painting done, I think I'm gonna call for this episode. This episode was a two hour a recording sesh and I have another two hour recording sesh, I think, or three hour, maybe four, who knows. Um, I'm very excited for that one. But uh, this this uh, drawing game is actually really fun. I think I might come back to it once, uh, once uh, story mode gets added. Uh, because there is a story mode be, uh, being added to the game. And I just gotta say, this is beautiful. This is such a beautiful game. It deserves so much love. <laughs> and I made some really cool art. I made really, really cool art. And you know what? For that, 
I think I'm just gonna end it here. Anyways, that's all for this time. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of, uh, what was it? Such Art Creative Space. And I mean, I'm gonna have so much fun if we continue, uh, or make a series out of this. It was really fun to just draw. Uh, I really, like, this was, was probably one of the most silent videos I think I've ever recorded. Um, because of how quiet I've been just drawing and focusing. Like, I had, like, a couple of music stuck in my head, but, like, again, I... Oh, wow. I'm just excited. Anyways, that's all, and I'll see you guys all next time when I upload the next video. You know, whatever that'll be. Anyways, yeah, that's it. I I failed this intro. I, I just don't care. <laughs> I don't care about my intro. Out, uh, outros, not intro. Anyways, see you guys. All right, note the self. Figure out the intro. Outro, intro, intro, outro, outro, intro, intro, outro, what am I saying?